Okay, hello guys and welcome again to another tutorial. Today we're going to be doing some advanced uh, coding and to be honest uh, uh, there's uh, this guy who asked me to do a combo box video and uh, to be honest you really don't need a tutorial anymore. If uh, you are uh, good with logic you shouldn't need any tutorials anymore. Uh, all you need is a dictionary to see uh, like uh, what each thing means and you can basically find this by going to help and scripting reference and just like reading it the stuff that's there you, you know it might help you and right click go to create and we're going to create a C sharp and let's just call this hello world so anyways should have called it something you know that actually goes with the thing we're going to put inside it. Anyways, there is not a actual way to create a combo box in Unity 3D. So you have to, what you have to do is you actually have to use buttons and to create. Basically, that's it. Just use buttons to create the combo box. So to do this, first we're going to create a private. Uh, void on GUI so we can display everything and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new array so uh, it's going to be a string so string two, 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 and uh, items equals to then let's just make it equal to nothing for now and make it public so we can change it in unity and let's see and we're going to create a new private string private string and selected item so make that equal to nothing for now not like nothing null nothing not that just like empty string so now uh, we need to create a button so if gui layout dot button and we're going to put the selected item here and let's create another boolean shall we private bool I shall explain this in a minute so bool and uh, editing equals false so editing equals to true and Zero comma zero comma two hundred comma oops forgot one comma and thirty. So if no in fact yeah if sorry editing then for each string uh C in items if in fact we should have done four not for each so remove this int x equals zero x is smaller than uh what are items dot uh, or dot length x plus plus so if uh, gui dot button and new rect and we're going to do is we're going to make it say um, item C oh X sorry and uh, select why is why can't we do a selected item? Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, that's what selected item. Oh, okay, now. Uh, 
editing the group calls. And now we're going to make the rect comma let's see uh, thirty times what is it x plus thirty comma two hundred comma thirty Okay, now let me explain this. So, we've got an array which uh, is items, which is going to be the items for the combo box. And if you don't know what a combo box is, you're just watching this video randomly. Then a combo box is basically like a drop down menu where you can select anything. So, kind of like if you click file and then there's a drop down, you can select stuff. Okay, now the selected item and the items is going to be the stuff inside the combo box the selected item is going to be the item that is selected editing means that you clicked on the combo box and if it's false then you uh, need to click on it to display all the stuff so you haven't clicked on it now it's editing now it's not editing editing not editing anyway now uh what else so if uh, we're saying if uh, it clicks the button and the button is going to be at 0, 0 and it's going to be in 200 wide and 30 uh, down away and 30 down away should have highlighted that anyways and it's going to have selected item inside it now uh, when you click uh, that button editing is going to be true because then we want to display the thing so if editing is true then for each item in this for each string in this and strings basically a variable uh, it's like any letter you can or any text you can type in so for each string in that array uh, create a button for them okay so so uh, for uh, for each uh, button check what X is and times it by 30 so it's all nicely you know like organized one after the other like this it's not like overlapping or something and then plus 30 is because that button is there and we need to plus 30 because at the top that button is going to be there file and then the next button should be here not here so anyways and then it's going to have the item inside it and when we click that button it's going to make the selected item equal to the item that we clicked and make the editing equal to false so this goes away and let's try this out shall we I haven't actually done this before so hopefully it will work and nothing bad will happen so five so let's just call milk eggs bacon um, I don't know bread and computer kind of random shop that sells computers apparently anyways so nothing has so click on it and bread and there we go bread click on that milk eggs bacon bread computers as you can see works absolutely amazingly so unpause this go back and what if you want to reposition this somewhere so where you mm, in fact what I am going to do now is yeah in fact I'm going to upload this script and I'm going to make it so awesome that even a ch child will be able to use this so right uh, box equals to New. In fact, I just leave it like this. Box dot y plus thirty. Dot x box dot red. ok 
Okay. I just created a little formula so anyone can be able to edit it. So all you need to do is click on I oh wait. In fact, the selected item should be a public so people can change it. None. Okay, now anyone should be able to use the script. Okay, please tell me you can use the script. Just change the name and the class inside it so the class is here. Anyways, you click on items, you make the items box, select the position of it and the width of it. So make it 200 by 30, and then make the selected item none or something. And then when we play it, it's none zero. As you can see, it works like a charm. And let's make the position like random, randomly somewhere inside the screen. And it's there, click there, as you can see. It is amazing. Four. Just to show you, I'm not joking. This one. So, there you have it. A combo box. Uh, not what I was hoping I would do for the advanced tutorials, but I guess, uh, you know, maybe this will improve your logic or some something like that. So, if you have a better way of making this combo box, then uh, please do tell me. Obviously, I don't know everything and I am still learning. So see ya and thanks for watching this video and I'm going to be uploading the script and the dis it's going to be in the description by the, the script. Thanks again for watching.